you know, circumstances like these uh, have uh, happened in the past. Um, I think that in 2008, um, the, we had a financial system that was probably much more fragile than it is today, not just in the U.S., but even, even globally. So I think uh, there are definitely lessons that were learned uh, as a result of that. This is a, a, a different kind of, of challenge, a different kind of global, uh, of global threat, uh, per se. Uh, but again, we're still today, I think, at a point where there are still too many uncertainties, there are still too many uh, unknowns. Uh, things could be uh, worse than we may know right now. They could also be not as bad as what's known right now. So the important thing and the important point is to not overreact um, in, in, either, in either way uh, and just wait for some of these things to settle out and flush out a bit more. I, I tend to, you know, I, I tell my clients when, when times like this happen and, and even when we are starting to work with them for the first time with respect to the, the question of risk, the question or the issue of market volatility, um, having started in this business as a financial advisor in 2001, uh, two months before September 11th, uh, I've seen this happen. So I put it in terms of a movie, uh, which is I've seen this movie before. Um, different times, the actors are different, the storylines and the plots are different, uh, but if you stay in your seat until the movie finishes, it always ends the same way. You just have to have the discipline in the stomach to sit in your seat until the credits show. It's hard to, it's obviously hard to, to keep things in perspective and it's hard to uh, not get emotional uh, uh, about about these things um, but you know it's 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 critically critically important to to not overreact